slow. See that? All right. Gabe, you on? All right, so this is this guy's special. This is my man Frank Zhang. And Frank, you guys, stand up, stand up tall, Frank. All right. Frank is 13. Now, I'm not saying it's impressive to be taller than me. I'm just saying it's impressive to be 13 and that tall. Okay? <laughs> this guy's really talented. He's awesome. Thank you. I'm really proud of him because um, we have a very exclusive junior tour here in, in California, right? The Toyota Tour yep, Cup. Right. And it's basically like AJGA, but it's for Southern California. And if anybody knows better, Southern California is an AJGA event every single day. Uh, it's the best golfers arguably in the world um, for, ju for junior golf. And you know, we can attest, we see guys like this. But this guy goes out in, in what was the age group? It was through? I was through 12 to 19. To 19. And out of 164 players, right finished in T14th in the Toyota Tour Club qualifier. Um, that's incredibly impressive, incredibly impressive. Top, like well into the top 10% of the field. And that's, uh, so I'm really proud of him. That was a big event on a tough golf course and it set him up for a great 2022 of tournaments that are at his age, players aren't getting the opportunity to play. So it's pretty neat that he has a chance to contend against players and, 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 and compete against players at a much, much uh, higher level. Uh, well, not even a higher level, at, at just older. And to be at that level already at his age is unbelievable. So it's, it's cool. So yeah, just so you guys know, remember the name because this YouTube could be uh, pretty special in about five, six, seven, eight years from now. <laughs> After this guy's won a Haskins Award, you know, and maybe possibly a tournament on the PGA Tour. Okay. You know what we're working on today? Do you guys know what we're working on today? Yeah, I think so. What so are we working on today? The, the bite and, and stuff. <laughs> Gabe just filmed a video with Eli, uh -huh. e Eli beforehand. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. And um, you guys played against each other this last week, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, Eli's the lefty. Yeah. It's like the right shoulder, right side of your body. Really so he need to, you know, keep it back. Yeah. But one thing that we know about your swing, right? We've worked really hard on better positions at the top, a better setup. But we know that the shoulder plane moves up sometimes, and then everything moves under. So it's like you get tall and taller a little bit, right? Right, And then it actually gets down late through impact, but it's not in transition to where you could really you know, hit it even as hard as you can. So here's what we need to do. We're gonna work this today. We're gonna really turn to the top. We're gonna make sure this hip doesn't get closer to the ball. We're gonna work it back to make sure that when you rotate, your left pocket is moving back the entire time, but right. just not with your right hip moving this way. Yep. Um, a visual, that helps. Mm -hmm. Watch this. This can't move this way. Right. This has to move that way. Yep. Do you see that? Does that make sense for both both of you there? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And um, and I'm referring to dad back there. Dad's a big part of our lessons because I help I help teach dad too. I teach dad and Frank so that dad can help Frank play better golf. All right. So here we go. Here. Here. Not. Here. And then here. Right. Okay. Gotcha. All right. So let's see. Do the best you can with rehearsals to start out the day. So we're gonna do some good rehearsals. And the thing that's important, Frank, do that yeah. again. Go to the top of your swing. All right. Top of your swing. When your hip goes back, make sure your hands come all the way down. Get them down. Like, yeah. So ready? Watch this. Get them down. Got you know, people do this a lot. They get in here like this, and they just let their hands hang on the side of their body. And, and, and people, people, people misinterpret this. When, when, the, when they've heard, and this is a, something that a lot of pe people hear on YouTube, mm -hmm. like leave the club there right. and turn. Yep. That's not correct. Leave the club head there. Get the handle in front. You're just not swinging the club head. You're leaving the club head there and keeping the hands in front of the center of the body because what happens is when you make that move, this, and it's back here and I'm already out ahead of it right. and then it's just, I, I can't, I have to catch it up. So get right here, buddy, and watch. Boom. Boom. Because when I do it, you're going to see the hands explode through the ball. It's here. 
right? Yep. Yes. Get it right past you now. Go right past you. There we go. 13. So we need to get this like up against here so you actually have some pressure up against it. I want to get like, he's tall, so we got to hike it up right there. Turn back. So turn back into it. Keep the knee flexed. Okay. Now keep your shoulders down. Remember we talked right. about that? This yep. way. This is step one. You need to have that left shoulder down pointed more to the top of the right. ball. Yep. Okay. Because remember your tendency? I go up. Right. Here. See it. There it is. There you go, buddy. Do it again. Now keep, keep this back as your left one turns. As the left one turns. There it is. There it is. All right. What club is that? Seven. Do that with a nine to start with here. All right. Here. There we go. Hey, come back here real quick. I want to make sure you do this 100% right. All right. Watch this. Slow right now. Just yeah. like this. Slow. See that? All right. Okay. That one really, I could really feel it. And it was still in sequence. Right? Yep. Do a good job with that. Shorter. Got it. Shorter and wider. All right. Make sure it goes like your, your backswing goes up that way, not, not back. Got it. Not back this way. Shorter, wider. Ooh. That was much better. Much better up here. Thank you. See, you know, Fr Frank, your tendency, right? You know this. You get, you get up here and then it always has a little bit, a little bit extra, right? Yep. A little bit extra. So we want to make sure that we're trying to feel like the club's almost pointed to the sky and the body turns it there. So if I was just exaggerating this, it'd be like this, right? Yep. Okay, we're running through it right here. Here we go. Right. So we're turning back with the left shoulder more down, yep. which will actually restrict the arm swing. So that's important. When the shoulder goes down, the arms will shorten up. And when that shoulder goes up, it's kind of alleviating the pressure, right? right? So the arms then will pick up. Right. Does that make sense? Yep. So like you're using more of the core here and you're staying in the spine angle that you're already in. Yep. And then the arms will stop out right here, right? So you're pushing away, Frank, right there. Yep. That's the feel. And then by the time you rotate back through, look where everything's right back in front of you. Okay? Got it. Good, buddy. Let's see it. The shorter swing. It's okay. And I know you said every time you do that, you right. typically chunk it. Yep. And I always tell you it's because you'll leave your hands just on the side of your body and not from there all the way through. Right. Okay? Got it. Here we go. The ball is too far back in your stance. Oh, That's God. all. all right. you know I mean? Let's move this, move this over a little bit. All right. Go ahead. I know I threw a lot at you at once, so here we go. So make sure, here we go, we're going to go ball forward more. A little bit more even. Yep. Yeah. See, when you get that ball back, which uh -huh. is a tendency of yours, total tendency. That ball gets back there, and then you're, you're forced to do this. Remember this old move? Oh, yeah, you're good. Thanks, buddy. But right. you're forced to do one of these, Frank. Right. Right, so, so get that ball forward so you can start moving into the golf ball with that upper body more, okay? Got it. A lot of players will do that. You know, a lot of players do that. The backward ball position right here, the backward ball position, and it gets like this. And you know they, they think that they're going to get better contact, and it, it ends up, you know, backing them out of the shot to get back to it. You know, my my mentor always made sure the ball was more forward, if anything, right than not. I always used to hit, have drills where I'd hit the ball up here because it would force my upper body to really cover it and get on top of it. 
Okay, let's get the ball a little, a, at least a good inch ahead of center, okay? All right. So just to give you an idea, you know where that would be? There. Oh, got it. All right. <laughs> Whoa. That's where it would be. Now just stay right there. I want you to, I'm just gonna take a picture of this so you can see it. Come here, check us out. This is, this is me telling him like that much more forward than we had it. Mm -hmm. It was back here before. Right. And here's the thing, what happens then, think about what happens. Relative to the feet, it was back. But then what you did was you were kind of like, you know, like this. Mm -hmm. So your upper body still felt like it was behind it. Does right. that make sense? Yep. What needs to be is watch. Up to it. Right. So relative to the feet, get it forward. And then the center of the body will be right here. The ball will be forward. I stay there. I bump the hip. Yep. Now I'm in a position to be more on top of it. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. And then, and then that's what the setup and the swing, two things. Shoulder and short, shoulder and short, hip back. Right. Hip, okay, shoulder and short, hips and hands. Right. Hips and hands, hands, right? Yeah, there it is. So I, I love doing that because you take, because I'm giving you the whole plan, right? The whole yeah. thing. Yeah. So it's, okay, we gotta get the ball a little forward and then address it. Right. That'll help us get through it. Got easy, it. easy. Right. Shoulder and short, easy. Yep. Hip and hands. Got That's you. the whole thing. All right. It's good. We like to do that a lot of times so our players will like break it down, you know, S and S, H and H. S and S, H and H. You know, that's, that's so they have clarity about what they're doing. Shoulder and short. He's going shoulder down to a shorter position. Hip back, hands in front, you know. Yeah, it's good. Good, much better. Good, Frank. How's Pierre? Thank you. And hey, don't let that bag stand affect your ball position. Just move where you need to, and then I'll move this over to you. You know what I mean? Got Get it. that thing forward, dude. I want to see you exaggerate. You want to you wanna have the ball too far forward, if anything. Okay. I need it. Ready? You? Yeah, more. More. <laughs> yeah, there okay. you go. See? It's perfect right there. And that's where you're just going to have to then not, you know, you, you, you can actually get through it. You don't have to stall out and stay back on it, right? right. Does that make sense? Yep. But that's that feeling we talked about. When this hip stays back, bud, guess what? The upper body starts to get on top of it. And that's right. where... I want you to put that together, okay? Gotcha. The entire recipe is thrown right at him. You see how good the golf, the golf swing is, though? Wait till, he starts, wait till he starts popping it here. Yeah. Hey, I was just telling him, mm -hmm. the swing, I know, I know at the moment the contact isn't perfect, right. but the swing is awesome. Got it. Awesome, okay? Got Keep it. doing it, trust me. All right. When, when the hands, like, I'm just gonna show you something. It, you could be doing it all right. W watch my slow hands, just kind of slow hands. So these, just kind of slow. You know, just the contact just kind of gets, a, it's okay, but it's kind of clunky, you know? Right. Watch. Hands fast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? Just, you know what I mean? Yep. So that's, that's where it just zips. And that's why that ball just comes off and has that, right? It's because right. why? That's where the club gets that, right? And everything's more in front of my body as opposed to just kind of slow and behind. Right. Doesn't quite have that same. See, right away. And, and that's, I was back here with Gabe a second ago. That's just wind. That was a good swing. Yep. I told him a second ago, I said, hey, that swing is looking great. Wait till he just gets a little bit of right. zip Hands. on it. It's gonna be really good. Thanks. Hey, but when I when you when you get the little bit of zip on it, mm -hmm. keep the same control at the top. Got it. Control smooth right here. I don't want that getting long and loose. Okay. All right. Here, back up that. Um, yeah, back that. There you go. Just put it where you need to. Thanks, buddy. 
Yeah, move that thing according to where you need to be. Don't try to adjust it. Got it. Oh, best swing yet. That was, uh, that was your best swing I've ever seen you make, buddy. Thank Seriously, you. like all together, <laughs> like the entire back swing and the down swing, best swing I ever saw. Thank you. Shoulder was good, hands were good, club wasn't too long, and you stayed in your posture, and the hands got in front. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching our video. Any questions or comments you have, please leave them below. Also, click the link below to pick up three free videos. We appreciate you guys. Enjoy our channel.